Hello, my name is Brandon Fleming, and these are some jokes that I wrote. These are jokes I'm writing, or that I've written. My family knows that I really like surprises, but showing up to a family reunion that ended up being a funeral was not cool. Rest in peace, Dad. <laughs> I've never used a dating app before, but I completely see the thrill of wanting to meet up with the last person you're ever going to see for the rest of your life. <laughs> That sounds like they fell in love. It sounds like you're talking about love. <laughs> Does it? Yes. Oh, it seems like murder. <laughs> okay, good. So then it's going to be, it can be, if it's ambiguous, I'm cool with it. It's more ambiguous than it is specific. A guy stopped me this morning when I was at work and was telling me that he was having some sort of emergency, but when he started talking to me, I was in the middle of putting on my headphones, so I didn't hear the rest of what he was saying. I really like that show, Naked and Afraid. It inspired me to come up, come up with my own show. It's called clothed and happy to show that follows individuals who don't do stupid challenges some doctors become so well respected they name sodas after them <laughs> stupid i've always been pretty irrational like i remember being a kid and being terrified that a shark was going to attack me and i lived in illinois and then now as an adult i live in like a really really white neighborhood and i'm afraid that a shark is going to attack me <laughs> I don't like to tell little white lies, but I do like to tell big black truths. That's all. <laughs> when I was young, I realized I was a really lazy kid because I was watching TV and on my front porch, I saw a guy come up and steal my bike and I didn't do anything until the commercial break. <laughs> when people tell me that they love the rain, I kind of always feel like they're no shoes in the house kind of people. That or they can afford welcome mats. I feel like sneezing is less of my soul leaving my body, but more of me like getting my car window really dirty. I hate when there are extra steps to pretty much anything, and that could be either physically or mentally. What I'm trying to say is I don't like stairs or math. The workplace is just another location to hate yourself. <laughs> For some reason, I'm really embarrassed to tell my coworkers that I play video games but I have zero qualms with admitting that I was the one who farted. I feel like the Ten Commandments aren't specific enough. Like, it's gonna be a real shame if I don't get to go to heaven because when I was 10, I went on an ant killing spree. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had a blast. I hope you did too. Let me know about it. And if you have a joke that you wanna tell, write it in the comments. Good. Thanks. Yeah. When I was young, I realized I was a really lazy kid because I was watching TV and on my front porch, I saw a guy come up and steal my bike and I didn't do anything until the commercial break. <laughs> I think that's my favorite. <laughs> it's completely true, too. Really? Yeah. And afterwards, I chased him down. Did you really? Yeah, I didn't get him. He, he was on the bike. <laughs> <laughs>